local nonprofit raised some big bucks this past weekend after people bust a move on the dance floor. KX's William Johnson has this story. For 10 years, Liz Dickey has devoted her time and energy into providing medical care to the many people struggling to foot the bill. It's the people themselves. I mean, I have never had a job that is more challenging, but I've also never had a job that's more rewarding. As the executive director of Health for All, she helped provide lab exams, x-rays, and free physical and mental health care to low-income people lacking coverage. Dickey says the group all started more than 30 years ago when a doctor providing medical services out of a hotel room quickly became the talk of the town. Three decades later, it's the same basic premise, but we've obviously graduated from a little motel room one day a week to a full-fledged clinic. A clinic partnering with groups like United Way to help provide transportation and the Brazos Valley Food Bank to give food items to insecure patients. We really, we try to be as creative as we can and partner with anybody that's willing to, to, to sort of Get as close to a one-stop shop as we can. But providing critical care comes at a cost, which is why the organization puts on a dance competition as a fundraiser every year. When COVID hit, a break followed. But this year, dancers broke out on the dance floor as people poured in with donations. We are so grateful to have brought it back and to have been able to see people and actually be in the same room. Uh, and, and we ended up uh, raising over $40,000. And Dickey says that's just the start to continue to help even more patients find care. We see on a daily and a weekly basis the lives that we're impacting and truly the lives that we're saving. I mean, there are people that wouldn't be here if it weren't for Health for All and, and for the people who support our work. Work that Dickey says is long from over. William Johnson, KAGS News. Dickey says next year's theme for their competition will be the 70s.